Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Leos where we take a look at the changes coming your way. Um, this is going to be a bit more of a general reading, so I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also check out the description box if you're after a private reading. All right, my dear Leos, happy birthday to all of you out there. Let's see what messages, advice, and guidance come through for you or the changes coming your way. The energy around you and coming towards you. Okay, so we have the garden and the gate. Okay, we have envy. Okay, and we have the angel of love. Okay, beautiful. So I see here, Leos, a lot of you, you're really thinking about making some sort of major change. With the garden and the gate, it feels like you are in a place of abundance or, you know, you have a lot of what you need or what you're looking for. But I feel there's an inner calling to do more or to possibly have more. And I'm actually getting with this energy of envy. Some people around you may be envious of what you have, but I feel like you want more or you want, you want to do better. Um, you want to follow your passions. But I also see with this energy of envy, you're really taking a look at where it is you truly want to be and how to get there. And I feel like with this angel of love, now this, this could be an offer coming your way, but it's truly about following your heart here. And we see the door to romance. So for some of you, this is in love and relationships, but for other, others of you, it's about following your true path and purpose. And the way to do that is to follow what it is that's in your heart, what it is that you're passionate about. All right, so let's go ahead and see what additional messages here come through. I feel like you're like on the cusp of a major change, either making an offer, you know, some sort of proposal. And again, it certainly feels romantic in nature for a lot of you, but for others of you, again, it's about following a new path. It could be up leveling. It could be starting your own business. It could be going back to school, but there's something within you, Leo, that's not satisfied with where you are, or you've reached a certain level and you're like, okay, I want to go further. All right, so we see the garden and the gate. We see the wheel of fortune, okay? Um, with envy, we see the ace of swords. Yep, you're clear. You are very clear here about what it is that you want, what it is that you're lacking. And we see the three of pentacles, spirit saying everything is going to work out in your favor. Everything is working out for you. Just follow your heart. That's what I'm hearing. So we see the wheel of fortune here under the garden and the gate. So I do feel a lot of you, you feel a little bit stuck and it doesn't even necessarily mean that things are not going well for you. I mean, it is possible. Maybe there's an investment that's gone awry or a relationship that is over or you're no longer invested in, but I feel more than anything, you've reached a certain level, Leo, and you're like, you know what? I'm ready for whatever comes next. I'm ready to either pivot. Um, I'm ready to up level here. And I think you have a lot of clarity about that. Now, I might be resonating here with some of you who are Leo Virgo cusps, but with this hermit energy, Leo, I feel like you've been doing a lot of quiet introspection and contemplation about what this next move is. So I do feel with the nine of wands here, there's something here that you've always wanted to do with this nine of wands. It's like you still hold a torch for um, for, for something that you've, for your passions, right? For something you've always wanted to do. Some of you, you may have had to put a certain career or creative endeavor on hold, maybe because you got married, maybe because you had kids, maybe because you took a job that, you know, paid good money and brought you stability, but it's like, you're ready now. And I feel like, yes, you, you've take, you have quite a busy schedule here. You've got a lot going on. You may have even been, you know, bumped and bruised here by some sort of failed investment or some sort of loss, or maybe you're just, like I said, feeling a bit stagnant here, but it's like, you still have this fight in you. And I feel like you're in this process of strategizing because you're ready to up level. We see this door to romance. This is you romanticizing your life. This is you looking at, okay, how can I cross this threshold? 
Okay. And we see the Hierophant energy in reverse Taurus energy telling me that you're ready to do things differently. Some of my Leos, you just might really feel like you're in a bit of a rut again, when it comes to your relationships or when it comes to work, um, maybe you feel like, you know what, I'm a creative person, but I've put that on hold. I need to really let out this energy that I have within. And with this envy card, I feel with the Ace of Swords, you're looking at Okay, where do I feel envious of maybe my friends or my family members? And take a look at, okay, like what is it that they have that I don't? And I don't get this, that this is a low vibrational exercise that you're doing. Actually, I think it's really, really important to be honest with yourself. And when we experience envy, there's usually a reason for it, right? The envy is because we're missing something. So maybe some of you, you know, your friends and your family members are getting married or, you know, having children and things like that. And you're experiencing a little bit of envy, which I think is human. And I think it's natural, then you're like, okay, well now I need to take certain steps so that I don't feel that so that I'm so fulfilled in whatever it is that I'm doing that, you know, I don't feel this envy. Okay. And I feel like you're getting clarity about what it is you need to do here. So this ace of swords tells me you're ready for a new beginning emperor energy. You're ready to step up. Some of you, this really does have to do with work or your career. Some of you, maybe you feel like you've hit a glass ceiling with the company that you work for or within your niche or within your field. And you're like, you know what? It's time for me to go back to school. It's time for me to get that certificate. It's time for me maybe to study something completely different, but I've had my eye on for a really long time. So I love this because the emperor certainly is, you know, the emperor is like, you know, a war general, right? He's, he's strategizing. You're strategizing about how to be successful, how to have this new beginning, possibly how to balance it all. Because I do feel I'm connecting with some of you that have family, have careers, but you also realize like, you know what? Life is meant to be lived and there's something else that I'm really meant to be doing. And look at that 10 of pentacles spirits telling you that this idea that you have Leo, whatever it is, if it's putting yourself back out there after a divorce or separation, if it's, you know, focusing more on, you know, on studies, on a raise or promotion, it's going to bring you long-term wealth and stability. A lot of my Leos, that's exactly what you're building. And, and don't get me wrong. There are people here that are going to be jealous of whatever this up leveling is, because I see that you're doing that introspection. You're taking it very seriously and spirit saying, you know what? You're on the right path here with this angel of love. You could be calling in a very compatible partner, but it's like, because you're putting yourself out there, right? For others of you, you're, this is a job offer. And for most of you, this is you following your heart and spirit saying, when we do that, Leo, and we do it in a strategic way, we're going to see the results that we really want. Okay. And some of you, this may be a physical up leveling. It could be, you know, healing. It could be, you know, uh, just your health and wellness journey. I feel there's a major glow up here and other people are going to be noticing, Yep, we see the five of pentacles. You've been, you, Spirit's saying you're going to have to work hard at this, right? Some of you, you're doing your vision boards. You're doing, you know, working with law of attraction, manifestation. But I feel like I say this a lot. Those are all beautiful things to do. But at the same time, we do have to meet Spirit halfway. We cannot just sit in our room in hermit mode and expect that the, the ideal partner is going to come and knock on our door or that job is going to land in our lap. We do have to put ourselves out there. We do need to take certain steps to move towards that. And I feel like you're looking at the energy of lack that you've been carrying around or lack that you've experiencing and you've decided to get up and do something about it, Leo. And I love this energy. It's super empowered. And we see the four of pentacles. Yeah, you, you're definitely launching yourself towards stability, building long-term wealth. And again, a lot of you, if this is a career reading for you, for example, you're doing well, you have the stability that you want, that you need, but it's not to say that it's not enough, but there's something else that's calling you. There's something else that's saying, you know what, Leo, we're meant to express ourselves creatively. Maybe it's through art. Maybe it's through dance. Maybe it's through starting a YouTube channel, like whatever it might be for you going back to school. Um, but I do feel spirit's advice here is that again, you might have to tighten the purse strings. You might have to budget, you know, if you're making some sort of financial investment here, um, you know, to go back to school, how are you going to pay for it? You know, you might be going out less, you might be buying less, you know, um, superfluous things. 
Um, but I also feel too that, you know, this is, it's not going to bother you, but there is going to be like a little bit of holding back while you make certain sacrifices to move forward here. Yeah, because I do feel there's some sort of, you're walking away from, you know, an energy of feeling drained emotionally. Um, some of my Leos, you're realizing that you're not saving enough money, right? That you're going out and memories and spending time with friends and family is paramount. It's so important. But I also see Leo that for some of you, you're like, you know what? I'm just kind of spinning my wheels and it's time for me to do things differently. It's time to put myself first because I want to invest in me. I want to build long-term wealth here. And for others of you too, it's like about also shifting your focus as to whom you desire, right? If you're single and you're looking for a partner, you're probably taking a look at, okay, the people that I've been attracted to, you know, they've been great. I've learned some lessons. They've been super sexy, whatever it is, but I'm actually looking for somebody who is going to build with me. And so I feel there's a major shift here for my Leos and I love it because it's a shift towards empowerment. And as I've said, building long-term wealth and stability. So when it comes to your work or your career, let's see what ad advice spirit has for you. We have independence. Yep, some of you, you're ready to go it alone. It's time to go out on your own and create your own business or try something well outside your comfort zone. Absolutely, absolutely. Some of you, you're starting your own business. It's a side hustle, but you're gonna be passionate about it. And you know, from a fellow entrepreneur here, Leo, if you do what you love, you, it, you never work a day in your life or you end up working every day, right? <laughs> but it's a joyous, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's something that brings you happiness. It brings you joy. And we see the future, yeah. So plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. So some of you, you may be moving towards a much more spiritual career, you know, um, but you know, for a lot of you too, it's just like you recognize that you've got to put in the work. And I feel like you, you've done the hard part already here, Leo, which is recognizing where do I experience lack and what is my game plan? What are the steps that I need to take to get where I need to be? And, and I love it. And like I said, some of you, it's in love and relationships. Others of you, it's career and finances. But let's see. When it comes to love, we have the angel of love and we have the door to romance. So I do feel this is a very, very aus auspicious sign when it comes to calling in love for those of you who are single and do check out the singles new love readings that I did just post. I always recommend to check your sun, moon, rising, but when it comes to love, don't leave out your Venus sign. All right, so we have mask energy, not showing true feelings, hide, pretend, delude, gaslighting. So some of my Leos here, you may have been dealing with someone here that wasn't who they really thought, who you thought they were. And I feel like you're seeing through that with this hermit card energy. I feel like you're seeing through that. And with the nine of cups here in reverse, it's like there's you're feeling emotionally drained by maybe dealing with people who are a bit more uh, vain or a bit more superficial. But I feel like you're taking a good hard look at what type of person really, truly you want to build a life with here. And we see kisses. Yeah, you're wrecking. You're in this beautiful energy of self-love. I feel like my Leo's out there, you have so much unconditional love for the people that you do allow into your life. Um, but you're really prioritizing here balance, somebody that wants to build, somebody that wants to grow with you, someone where there's going to be this equal give and take. And I do see you falling in love, but I see my Leo's shifting your parameters a little bit, you know, as to like, especially my single Leo's, you know, shifting your parameters a little bit about whom you're looking for. Like, I feel like you're deprioritizing certain things because you've learned lessons or certain qualities in people and you're prioritizing more like stability and support and unconditional love. All right, so let's see what blessings, ooh, what blessings are coming your way here, Leo? So we see freedom. Yep, a lot of you, you're freeing yourselves from outdated or outmoded patterns and beliefs. Some of you, you're freeing yourself from a job or a position, or you're taking those steps to start your own business or become independent. I love this, I love it for you. And we see healing, yeah. And a lot of my Leos, this is coming from doing that inner work, being a spiritual warrior, doing your healing work. It's showing you, it's showing you the path forward. And remember, when we're happy, that means we're on the right path, okay? We also see this energy of growth. So I definitely see there's financial abundance coming, but I'm seeing growth and maturity as well in like 
in, in dating, in relationships, and like what it is that you're prioritizing. It's beautiful energy. Final messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. We get be at home. Yeah, a lot of you, you're a lot more home, at home in your own bodies. I'm seeing, especially to some of you, if you know, if you've always wanted to, you know, cut some weight or become more, uh, more active or you know, be more toned or whatever it is, whatever build more muscle, whatever it might be. I feel like you're actually you're not sitting around hoping and wishing for it. Your my Leos are out there taking active steps to just feel better all around and you're just much more at home with whom you are and within your body and we see act as if yeah this is fake it till you make it and a lot of my leos sometimes it does take a little bit of faking it before we make it energy but i feel like you're absolutely on the right path i'm seeing beautiful changes coming your way and for some of you there's an offer a proposal here that's going to just going to change everything but no trust that you are manifesting it and you deserve this all right, Leos, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.